we are just going to drop off our bags in the hotel and get some food afterwards. We just got to the hotel in Beijing and Aaron is already losing his stuff. Where can my phone just go to? We were literally here for like 5 minutes. Is it with your parents? I don't even know, it's not in my pocket, it's not anywhere. Why are you opening it? We haven't even opened that yet, how can it be inside? I have no idea! <laughs> Where did my phone go? 5 minutes later. How did it end up there? We were just watching out, looking at the view outside. Complaining the fact that like, you know, they have access to food and we don't And so the phone as well as the key card was placed here on this ledge and Yeah, I spent like a whole good five minutes trying to look for it It's the first day of our week here in Beijing and we've just checked in and had our tummies filled And now we are heading to the first attraction of this trip, which is Tian I have no idea. This is like day one. I have no idea how to get onto one of these. Maybe I'll figure out over the next couple of days. I was told that there would be old people doing Tai Chi and doing their morning exercises here but I don't see any so I got scammed This is not Tai Chi We are taking a water break It's huge, this place is so big I think we spent like one and a half hours walking already Is it? Probably more than one and a half hours about two hours already I would reckon Imagine the size of Central Park multiplied by 2 in New York Imagine the size of Botanic Gardens but multiplied by 5 I was just looking at all the people taking photos of the same building and I'm wondering how many pictures have the world taken of the same building? Probably in the millions already I think this is the most number of people in a tourist attraction in all our videos that we have ever made so far Technically, the whole place is called Tiantan, including where we're heading to right now. I think he's totally offbeat. <laughs> now we're heading to San Itun and we're going to go to a mall there to get something very special to Aaron. It just started raining out of nowhere. So when we got out, it was like all nice skies, nice weather. It's not that heavy, but it's just inconvenient, you know? It makes me take for granted like how convenient everything is in Singapore. I don't even need an umbrella at all. I think we will spend quite a bit of time walking around. I think they have all the name brands here. It's huge. This is beyond excitement. Even the rain can't stop me from being excited. The whole entire reason why I come to Beijing, just for this. being here like 10 years ago and like trying to catch the morning sunrise of the national flag raising ceremony it's just right there This place is so 
so huge. Rumor has it that there are 999 rooms here, but that rumor has been debunked. I was wondering if all the emperors in the past managed to visit all the rooms when they were ruling the entire dynasty. We spent so much time at Tiananmen and Forbidden City and we are so tired, we walked around so much. So we decided to ski at Singshan Park and we will head to Wang Fu Sing instead. So we ordered like eggplants, korofan, tukiyaki, the sun ritang. The chan smells so good. Okay. So I think the first thing is the inoki mushrooms. Hot. It's so hot. Oh, this is actually very delicious. Because it's sour, it's like high weight. It's been a while since I actually ate yang rou chan. Probably the best one actually. Because there's so much fat around it. There's no lamb taste. Good. Nan This guy looks very happy. Nice. Good morning. We are on our way to the Great Wall of China today. So just arrived into the Great Wall cable car station and up we go! We're trying to get to the actual Changcheng instead of this random sidewalk. Going down is not as easy because you always have to look downwards to make sure that you're stepping on the correct steps. Oh yeah, we are getting in. We found the hole. So like all these people who are walking up towards this direction, they make a difficult trek up and it's not easy for them because like Going up these steps, it requires so much effort, so much energy. Climbing down is so much easier. If you really want to say you climb the Great Wall of Bada Lake and you try to make it to the end of the Great Wall, which is on post number 13, and that's where you consider if you actually climbed up the Great Wall. If you ask me if I would rather climb up or climb down, of course I would rather climb down. We have done this twice before already, so while it's a different location, I still think that like, walking down the Great Wall with this uneven step is always so much easier. Oh, yeah. It's so heavy. It doesn't look good. You just said it doesn't look good. <laughs> Now at a bakery beside a hotel and trying to get some breakfast. In the end, I think I just got a banana.
out at Yihe Yuan, which is the Summer Palace. Pretty cloudy day today, but I don't think it clouds our expectations for how beautiful this place is. Why are you only kissing one? What about the other Pichu? Are you sure you don't want to go in, Shah? I'm going in, I'm just following Aaron. <laughs> he has been here before, so I guess he remembers how to go in. Oh, this way. What's the phrase? All roads lead to Rome. Five minutes later. Wrong way, number one. Have to U-turn. Is this dead end? Okay, it's all off. Trying to help people when he can't even find his own way. I have a feeling that this is a correct direction. A few moments later. We're here! Yay! <laughs> Thanks to me. <sighs> it's exhausting to be here at Yuan Ming Yuan after the whole entire day of actual walking. What do you feel, Shah? My legs are burning, but I can feel them getting stronger. So, it's a plus. <laughs> Shall we get out of here? We are about to try Hai Di Lao. Are you excited? There's so many condiments. Are you having decision there's, dilemma? There's, there's too many. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick. You have been saying that you wanted Hai Di Lao since even before you came to Beijing. That's true. The soup tastes so delicious. Very nice. But the mala is a bit hot and spicy. Halfway through, the service is just number one. So good. <laughs> Twenty more meters from the bird nest entrance. Fourteen years ago I was here and it was a very popular place for my friends and myself because we used our skills to bargain for clothes and t-shirts and whatever we wanted to buy. Now being here the second time it does look like the space has changed a lot and inside looks so much more luxurious. I think I've been here before too and I think my mom got something from here but I'm not so sure. I'm not very good at haggling so I don't think I'll be getting anything today. This is one of the CBD areas in Beijing and it's pretty interesting to see the view of the different tall buildings from this terrace area. I love that building for its architecture. Birds can literally fly through this building.
We are now going to 798 Art District. No idea how it looks like. We have never been there before. One, two, three. here at the National Museum of China and it's quite big. I'm sure they contain the best works of the entire country. Aaron, why do you keep taking pictures of chickens? Thank you. 